So I will read a little more of this book. If I can. <laughs> there was one other girl I was friends with. The one, the four of us used to play together all the time. Someone besides our I K U N K A I R A. Well, I'll be. I think that's the first you've ever mentioned her. I'd better add that to my Germany memo. I'm starring it over for scratch. Hmm. I'll be much better than the old one. Talk about headstrong. What kind of girl was she? She was quiet and also always drawing pictures. She was really uh, good at it. But then one day she was gone. She probably knew somewhere. It's strange, why did that memory suddenly come back to me? I'd forgotten all about her. Hmm. Weren't we supposed to be losing our memories in this castle? But then, considering what that hooded figure said, and the place to find is to lose, and to lose is to find, maybe it all means that this castle will bring back our last memories. I'm sorry these videos are a little shorter today. I just haven't been feeling well. So, I'm going to do a review on the new DuckTales 2017. They just re-upload them to the Disney Channel. I will do some drawings that you will see soon. Along with reading... this book. The other book I have, but I can't seem to figure that where that one went. We'll read a little bit of this one now. Chick Martin. J-A-L-O-P-Y was such a brilliant yellow that the boys were confident in what it confident it it would not be difficult to pick up the trail of the auto thief. The queen's pretty well known around Bay Point Park. Frank remarked, we should meet someone who saw it. Seems strange to me, said Joe, that a thief would take a car like that. Auto thieves usually take cars of a standard make and color. They're easy to get rid of. It's possible, Frank shrugged, that the thief didn't steal the car to sell it. Maybe for some reason he was making fast getaway, and he'll abandon it. Look, C-H-E-G exclaimed, pointing to a truck garden where several men were hoeing cabbage plants. Maybe they saw the queen. I'll ask them, Frank offered, and brought this motorcycle to a stop. He scrambled over the fence and jumped across the rows of small plants until he reached the first farmhand. Did you see yellow G-J-A-L-O-P-Y go by here from the past hour, Frank asked? Uh, the lunky Old farmer landed on his hoe and put a hand to one ear. Eh, he shouted. Eh? Did you see a fella pass along here in a bright yellow car, Frank repeated in a louder tone. <laughs> the farmer called to his companions as they A-M-B-L-E-D over. The old man removed a plug off 
to buckle from the pocket of his overalls and took a heavy, chew, hearty chew. Lad here wants to know if we saw a J-A-L-O-P-Y come by here, he said softly. The other three farmhands all gathered, utterly men, did not answer at once. Instead, they laid down their hose and the plug of tobacco was dull, passed around the group. Frank Grinders teeth, please hurry up and answer. The car was stolen. We're trying to find the thief. That's so, said one of the men. A hot red, eh? Yes, a bright yellow one, Frank replied. Another of the workers removed his hat and moped his brow. Seems to me, he drawled, I did see a car come by here with a while ago. A yellow car now, twat yellower, come thick of it, I guess. <clears throat> Anyhow, it was a delivery truck, if I remember rightly. Frank dwarfed to C O N C E A L his impatience. Please, did any of you? Was it a brand new car, really shiny? asked the Fourth member of the group? No, it was an old car, but it was painted bright yellow, Frank exclaimed. My nephew had one of them things, the farmer remarked. Never thought they was safe myself. I didn't agree. I don't agree with you. Still, another man spoke up. All boys like cars, and you might as well let them have one. They can work on themselves. Y'all... Wrong, the deaf man interrupted. They won't get into mischief. He gave a chuckling sort of laugh. Well, son, I guess we ain't been much help to you. Hope you find the cider that stole your hot rod. Thanks, said Frank, and joined the other boys. No luck, let's go. As they approached Bay Port, the T R I O saw a girl walking along the road ahead of them. When the cyclist drew near, Frank's face lit it up, for he had recognized C A L L Shadow, who was in his class at Bayport High. Frank often dated C A L L I E and liked her better than any other girl he knew. The boys brought their motorcycle to a stop. Okay. I'm sorry the other videos weren't as long. I will try to do more this week. I'm sorry I've been sick and the side effects from the medicine were really, really bad. So, I hope y'all had a great time here on Rockin' Rockers. Fabulous Science. And Rockers Fabulous Times with me, the anime. Bye for now.